Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Those that are streaming live, those here at the Bank United Center in Coral Gables, Florida, and those that are with us via pay-per-view, we are another, ready for another female featherweight quarterfinal. This quarterfinal is brought to you by Black Roberts. Your night, your experience, your rum. And now, making her way to the cage, everybody welcome Peggy Morgan. Um, Revelina is a strong striker. She hasn't fought for about four years though, so it's hard to say where she's at now. I'm thinking she's a strong striker, I'm a strong striker, we're probably both going to want to keep it standing. But it could end up going to the ground and I'm ready for that. Honestly, I have no idea where this fight will go and I'm ready for anything. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on her way to the cage, let's welcome her opponent, Revelina Berto. this fight. Um, my opponent is Peggy Morgan and she's an awesome fighter and she is one of the most feared girls in the tournament but 
I trained so hard for this fight and I'm ready just to put on a phenomenal show and me and Peggy's um, fight style, there's no way we're not going to have an exciting fight. So I hope you guys are ready. And here she is, Revelina Nana Berto. I tell you what, this girl is so full of character, enthusiasm, I love it. Now here's the interesting thing about uh, Revelina. Obviously, the biggest thing is that she comes from the Fighting Berto family. Brother Edson Berto, uh, each MMA fighter he's fought here at CFJ. Andre Berto, two-time welterweight boxing champion. She trains with Patrick Senoble, Sonova, excuse me. And her sister Rochelle, Rochelle is a Naga champion. Yeah, I know the Bertos very well. I've been in the sport quite a long time, and they've been in it way longer than I have. So when I first came into the sport, I remember going down to training at a gym. Man, back in 2002, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Well, I, it's neat. This girl has a great attitude. She, uh, she's very aware that Peggy, the day walker, is, uh, is the favorite for the tournament. And she says, you know what, Robert, for me, it's just another day in the gym. She says, you know, everybody, everybody's going to be thinking I took four years off. I'm going to be cold. I'm going to be rusty. She says, I'm looking forward to surprising everyone. Everybody thinks I'm going to go do stand up. I'm going to be tired. She says, I got endurance and stamina through the roof. She says, this is going to be fight of the night. Awesome. She's we like to see in here. Oh, it's great. This, this girl is, uh, I mean, a bundle of energy. I mean, look at her, man. She's bouncing off the walls. Yeah, she's wearing to go, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Black Roberts. It is three rounds and a CFA female featherweight quarterfinal. The winner will advance to the semifinals and a chance at a quest for our first female featherweight world championship title. And now, introducing fighting out of our blue corner, she is undefeated with one win and zero defeats, standing six feet and one inch tall. She weighed in at 144 and one half pounds, representing Triumph BJJ and fighting out of Nashua, New Hampshire, Peggy the Daywalker Morgan. And her opponent across the cage, fighting out of our red corner. She is also undefeated. Three wins and no defeats. Somebody's O has got to go. She stands five feet eight inches tall. She weighs 145 pounds, representing Tiger World MMA and fighting out of Winter Haven, Florida, Revelino Berto. Your referee is Jorge Alonso. <laughs> Revelina definitely has her fans in the house tonight. Yeah, I heard them all. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm looking forward to one striking battle here. I want to say, I, I... I, I really want to see that happen right now. <laughs> well, you know, I have a feeling we're going to. Peggy has, she's got a win from striking, she's got a win from a submission. And boy, Nana Berto, had to, she wastes no time bringing them together, going at her. Yeah, Berto looking for that outside trip with the under, double underhooks. Yeah, Peggy needs to pummel under. She's doing a good job of locking her hands up. She needs to get that right arm and just pummel underneath there to get that underhook. Peggy Morgan, of there course, we go. all black. Revelina Berto in black and red. Revelina going for an elbow. Peggy, Peggy catches it, catches her up against the fence. Looks like, looks like Peggy's looking to change her level, go for a double leg. But Revelina doing a great job getting double underhooks, keeping, uh, keeping Peggy up, then reversing it, now pressing her against the cage. 
Peggy trying to get away, but Revelina's not having any of it. Landing a body blow with the right. Saw Revelina land a few elbows earlier. And Peggy's trying to go for that double leg, but Revelina's got that underhook, and it's pretty near impossible to get a double leg when you got that underhook, two underhooks like that. Nice reversal. Revelina Berto lands another to the body. Ooh. Little foot stomp. You can see that very often. I can see some more knees worked by both ladies. There we go. Ask and I shall receive. <laughs> now like she's she dipping way low for that double, getting underneath the butt. And yeah, there it goes. She drops him. Peggy lands in their guard. Let's see what kind of damage Peggy can do with that long reach. Man, just really, she just has to like barely throw those elbows to land them because they're so long. Well, she landed two or three, but they didn't seem to have a lot of power behind them. Yeah, but they look so bony. <laughs> they don't have to be hard when they're bony like that. Uh, just yeah, cut open. I mean, Kenny Florian was legendary for those uh. bony elbows cutting people open. Peggy's from his neck of the woods up there in Boston. Yep. That's a nice hard shot by Peggy. Peggy Morgan is landing a few of these blows. Keeping, keeping Revelina preoccupied with her forearm across her throat and now getting that elbow back in there, trying to land some of those elbows oh. and cut her open. Yeah, she's just nothing but elbows from there. Revelina though, doing a good, decent job defending most of the time. Um, doing a good job of trying to get her shin up into the armpit, into the bicep of Peggy. Trying to control the punches as much as possible. She's doing a good, jo good job keeping her arms inside. But not doing a good job of either trying to work for an escape or active submissions. That's pretty much just going to be uh, keep you there the whole time. That's tough. Peggy's got that long, wiry frame. Yeah. Kind of like Stephen Struve. Oh, St Stefan Struve? Sorry, yeah. Stefan Struve, yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same frame, really. Yeah, Peggy can really stand up and then punch. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be a take full use of those long, long arms and the reach to stand up and drop the punches down. Nice elbows. Now what Bruto should do here is when she stands up like that is to release her guard and put her foot in her yeah. hips and try to kick away. Yeah, I was surprised that she was she was letting she was hanging on like that. <clears throat> yeah, she needs to, you know, keeping that guard closed like that's not going to do much. You need to open it up like she's doing and put her foot on the hip to try to kick away, escape, or it's going to end up like this the entire round, which is what happened. 25 seconds left. Hey, you're exactly right. She's holding on to her. Uh, yeah. She's still got her feet locked back there. And worse, she could all she always get slammed. Pretty much the entire round, Peggy being on top, dominating with those little elbows. Nice right. grinding round though by Peggy. Yeah, at least from posi from position alone, she she won that round. Oh, definitely. I don't think uh, didn't look like either either fighter took a lot of damage, but uh... nah. Doesn't look like Berto's any worse for where Peggy looks fine. Peggy is going to be quite a bit more tired, though, after that round. And if Revelina can, if, if Revelina can get into a decent position to capitalize on it, then that might be something interesting. But uh, Peggy Morgan did a great job of dominating Revelina Berto that round. But that beautiful ring card, girl, just walking through. Sifei does a great job picking up the ring card, girl, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the color commentators love our ring car girls. <laughs> what am I saying? Everybody loves our yeah, ring car girls. Exactly right. Popular on the underground. 
is the replay of that takedown. Peggy getting nice and low under the butt of of, uh, of Birdo. Once you get under that butt, it's just like a little handle there. You can lift it straight up and slam right on the ground. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, she was finally able to get her her hands connected around the back. Yeah. Which wasn't that hard because she's so long. She didn't have to dip down that low. She didn't have to change levels too much. And here we go at the beginning of the second round. Humberto back in quick, closes that distance and gets in tight. She's definitely staying out of the striking range of Peggy Morgan. She doesn't want any part of that stand-up, it looks like. Yeah, I thought that Peggy would want to stand, keep the distance and try to trade a little bit more than what she has. She's really looking to press Birdo against the cage and work for takedowns. And she's got that left side underhook. She could slide down now for a single leg. She's doing a great job keeping that pressure there on Birdo. Morgan lands two rights, going for that double leg. There it is, she got yeah. her hands hooked. She's gonna lift her up. And uh, Berto doing a good job though, getting those hips back. And she's got, looks like she's get, got one, that left hand almost in under. Yeah, she needs to dig those underhooks hard. And she's trying to dig the underhooks hard, but. And there she's, oh, <laughs> Peggy's so close to getting her down. Revelina's a fighter. Wow, yeah, great job by Birdo, uh, sprawling out hard right there, getting those double underhooks and digging hard to not get taken down, using, not attempt. Using her forehead there, there too. Not, let, not giving Morgan a chance to use her head. There you go, Peggy's got him there blocked way goes. low now. This is where Peggy seems to want to take the fight. And I tell you what, it's going to win it for her if she stays here like this. She landed in half. Looks like she's trying to trying to pass. Revelina's got her right leg up. Revelina's on her hip, yeah, turned she in could, towards her. Looks like she could have passed any time right there. She had that half guard wide open. Both girls fighting aggressively for, for position. And back to guard. But there's those elbows again by Peggy. Looks like Revelina oh, was trying to trying grab Trying to go a, for that arm bar. Yep. Ah, wasn't able to get the hips around. Goes for the up kick. Ooh. Falls right back into guard. You know, you got, Robert, you got to wonder the pressure that these girls are. I mean, they're the first, first girls fighting for CFA and in a tournament style like this. It's got to be extra added stress. Absolutely. You know, on them. Absolutely. Yeah, on top of the stress for, for Berta being her, her first fight back mm. in four years. Yeah, exactly. It is very surprising, though. Got to go back to it. These girls are on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly thought that this whole fight would have been standing up. For sure. And the last fight you would have thought was on the ground. It was the op would be the opposite. Yeah, well, Peggy's doing exactly what she has to do to win this fight. Grinding, grinding down Berto right now. Down to a minute and a half. Second round. Oh, Revelina for looking for that arm bar. She's got to get that left leg oh, around the face, and she did. She's got it. Is she going to be able to extend that out, that arm? She's almost oh, there. Oh, oh, she's oh. got it in position. Revelina Berto wow. has Peggy Morgan in trouble. Peggy doing a good job, though, trying to hitchhike around and come around the backside. Oh, very oh, well free. done. Wow. But Pe 
But Revelina still, oh, she had position to, uh, to go for the, the stomach arm lock. And she still, uh, she still could get there. Get, if she yeah, gets she can reverse and get is. that arm again. Nice. Wow. Great job by Berto fighting for that arm bar still. Berto she softening some punches. her up. Softening yep. her up. Still trying to, trying to get her to release. Peggy needs to use that reach and that explosion just pop up right now. Just try to slide that elbow. This is exciting. 30 seconds left. Oh. Can Revelina submit her at 30 seconds? No, she oh. lets it go. Goes back to guard. Nice, nice attempt, though, by Bruno. And Morgan back up. Raining punches down on Revelina. Now Revelina's got her right, hit, right foot on... And Morgan's hip, but she's not kicking away, really. Yeah, see, that's what she should have done when she was uh, standing up on her like that, getting in the hip, kicking away. Here's the bell for the second round. Another grinding round by, uh, by Peggy, <coughs> Peggy Morgan. We're going to a third round. This is the must-win round for Revelina Nana Berto. Yeah, definitely Peggy. Uh, I think getting those first two rounds just by grinding them out, getting the takedown attempt, but... We'll take down for great, great on bar attempt by Revelina. That was very close. The Daywalker definitely has something to think about. Uh, Revelina's yeah. saying, I'm, I'm not going to give it to you that easy. Exactly. Yeah, now let's see if maybe Peggy kind of transitions now and says instead of taking her down, I'm worried about that on bar, let's maybe stay in trade a little bit. Is it just me or does, this, uh, does Peggy Morgan look a little winded? Yeah, she looks winded. Well, she's been working really hard. You know, meanwhile, Revelina's been on her back, so let's see if that might play some role in this round. The teams are escorted from the cage. Third and final round. CFA 10 at the Bank United Center, Coral Gables, Florida, putting on a one hell of a show. Alonzo brings the fighters together. They touch gloves for the final round. And it's on. Man, you can definitely see when they stand next to each other how much taller <laughs> Peggy is. Oh. Oh, oh! That's a slip from Birdo. She landed a left, but ah. uh, slipped on the way. Trying for that push. That's why I, I love the push kick, but if you don't land it score on and they're sweaty, it's going to slip off the side and you're going to get your back exposed sometimes. Yeah. Peggy the Daywalker has Revelina back up against the cage. Not an unfamiliar place for her tonight. No. Look at her just lower level, try to transition down below her waist. Get those hands locked, those long, long arms. <laughs> Doesn't have to reach that far. And Revelina lands a knee, looking to, looking oh. to land a strike. Oh, lands an uppercut in a left. And a right in a left. Two more. Birdo coming back. Oh. That day Walker catches her. Peggy Morgan. And I think Peggy was just kind of gassed at that point. Doesn't look like her hands were up, kind of backing up. Yeah, she, she does look like she's uh, she's giving about all she, all she has. Let's see. Nice high underhook by Peggy now. It's exactly the same move she used. Right, like a high underhook like that and then dropping down. Yeah, look at her just using her weight, just pressing her against the cage. And she's going to great, trying to connect those hands behind Revelina. Revelina Good job by Berto using that head and getting the underhooks, trying to push her away with all she can, but Peggy just too, too tall and too strong to push her away. Peggy's going to work on Berto's left leg, left thigh there. Berto's trying to escape away from the cage. It's tough to spend so much time there squished up against yeah. the cage with a 
it's frustrating, very, very frustrating when you want to separate and just throw and you got somebody smothering you like that. She's got a nice base, looking to escape. Daywalker all over her. Tries to, tries to land a knee, didn't look yeah. like it connected. Peggy's corner turn on the pummel. Yeah, once you get those underhooks, you could latch a little bit better. Berto has an elbow in there, looking to create some space so she can escape. Halfway done with the third and final round here in this female tournament bracket. Winner of this fight goes on to face Ashley Evans Smith. Any one of these girls would look great, would look great going against. That would be a great fight against Ashley Evans Smith. Either one of these girls. Berto landing some nice strikes from against the fence. It's tough to get much power from back there when you can't bring your elbow back. Yeah. The fence is in your way. Yeah, right now Peggy doing exactly what she wants to do to win this fight, just smothering against the cage, not letting Berto get any shots off. And she's not in a position where there she really is. needs to do much. She's got the first two rounds. Uh, she can control her this third round. She's got the fight. It looks like she's, uh, looks like Berto cut her open. Man, she just tried real hard for that double and wasn't able to get it. Again, good job, Berto, defending that takedown, getting her hips low. Daywalker's got her hands connected behind. Looking to throw Berto one more time. Minute 19. Berto's corner screaming that we need to be separated. Yeah. I mean, I mean, she's doing her game plan, trying to she's she's trying to actively go for a takedown. It's not like she's just pressing her there. So it's that kind of in the middle of that. Yeah, you know, should we separate him? Should we not? But she really is trying to go for that takedown. Berto going for a knee, lands one, oh. lands an uppercut. It's like the glimmer of hope. As soon as they separate, Berto comes alive, tries to get that knockout. Yeah, Berto. Uh, Peggy Morgan is cut open. But she's doing a good job. I mean, she, she came into the round visibly tired, and she's done a good job oh, of, yes. of, of, of really keeping Birdo in control. She's given Birdo no opportunity. She's nope. given her no space. Fair play. Oh, now he separates her. 10 seconds left. <laughs> Not a lot of time. Revelina, you have eight seconds Something's to finish gotta happen. this fight. Well, Peggy's not going to have any of that. And that's it. And that was the end of the third and final round. Not definitely much question. Think, definitely think Peggy pulled that off, just on the, obviously on the takedown. Grinding, definitely a grinding, grinding win by Peggy. No question about that. No question. Tough fight for Revelina. Yeah. And a nice, uh, nice return. From four years. Yeah, crap, four years off. It looked, it looked excellent for four years off. Nothing to be ashamed of. Both fighters come out, give it their all. Peggy just grinding, grinding, grinding it out. <laughs> Peggy Morgan's corner attending to it. We take a look at Revelina Berto, Patrick Sonobo. Helping it out. Of course, cleaning up. Thank you, Morgan. Who, unless there's some shock from the judges, will be facing Ashley Evans Smith. Once again. Another fighter giving it everything, leaving it all in the cage. And obviously disappointed Revelina. Fair play to Peggy Morgan. She worked the strategy. Revelina respected her striking and her range. She worked to get inside, but wasn't, uh, wasn't successful on making anything happen from the inside. Peggy Morgan did a great job of keeping her still.
Let's go to Jazz Seguro. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we go to the judges' scorecards for your winner. Judges John Rupert, Elicio Rodriguez, and Hector Gomez all score this fight 29 to 28 for your winner by unanimous decision and advancing into the semifinals, Peggy the Daywalker Morgan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here with your victor, Peggy Morgan. Peggy. How are you feeling about that victory? I feel really good. I knew it was going to be a rough fight. I came for a war and I gave one and I'm very proud. Yeah, you were relentless with those takedowns, pressing her against the cage the entire time, trying to work down to that double leg. Was that your game plan this whole time? Um, I was going to try to stand, but it just wasn't going to work for me, so I decided to take it to the ground instead. So your game plan coming in was to stay in strike. Did it, did it change up when you knew how she was coming out? Or? We kind of came in with like, a double game plan where striking didn't work. I was going to do that, so I've been working on both. Gotcha. So you're advancing to the next round, taking on Ashley Evans-Smith. How do you feel about this next fight happening? Um, I'm taking it one fight at a time. I'm going to get to the gym Monday and start working. Um, I feel confident I'm going to make it to the finals. Nice. Well, we love to have you back. Exciting, exciting fight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your champ, Peggy Morgan! So first of all, you should be holding your head high. I know you were not expecting that type of fight. You guys are golden gloves. I was expecting bang out, tit for tat going in there, and I think mentally that probably messed with you a little bit more than you thought. I hate losing more than I love winning, and uh, I just trained so hard for this fight, and <sighs> I just hate a loss, that's all. But I'll be back in the gym working with my team on Monday, so it's whatever. Well, I know, you, do you hear the support out there? This is for you, this is all for you. You did such a great job, I think, it was just frustrating for you. It's not that you didn't do well. We're not gonna say that. That's obviously not what it is at all. Your hands are sick. I believe you were one of the favorites. We didn't even get to see your hands. I'm not sure if you saw Peggy Morgan's face, but I did. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even get to see my hands. I got a lot of, a lot of tools in my toolbox. I wish I would've got to show it, but it's part of MMA. You go to get smothered sometimes, and she knew that I had a lot of tools in my toolbox, so she made sure that I couldn't use it. So I was ready for a full mixed martial arts, everything, kickboxing, boxing grappling, but I just hate a loss. Who out there wants to see Revelina Berto in the cage again? Great job, baby. <laughs>